Hello and welcome to the 8th tutorial in the COCA 2DX C++ physics series and in this part we're going to be looking at angular velocity. We'll be using the code from the 5th tutorial if you so if you don't have it don't worry there'll be a link in the description to the source code and angular velocity what is it? The angular velocity is how fast an object spins. This combined with forces can provide some interesting gameplay. Forces will be covered later on in this series. We are just going to disable gravity for this tutorial to help demonstrate, but you can enable gravity if your game requires. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. That's the wrong one. And I will open the open the Xcode beta. Need to open up in this one. So like I mentioned, we're just going to quickly disable gravity, we can just uncomment at this line here, and gravity is disabled. And to set the angular velocity, it is extremely simple, you just do sprite body set angular uh, damping, no I mean angular velocity, sorry. And then for that, we just specify a number. I'm just going to specify four. No, I'm not specify 400, sorry. Semicolon, and then let's just run this. After this has succeeded, we can also set the angular velocity's damping value, which simulates friction through the air, for example, which essentially slows down the object spinning and it basically you specify a number and that's how much you should slow down every frame but we'll show you that in a moment after you just see it spinning normally here we go we have the object spinning and it is constantly spinning and let's just implement damping so we start slowing down. So sprite body set angular damping. And for this we're gonna put one. So every frame, so every second it will slow down 60 points. You should be able to see it is slowing down. And now it has pretty much stopped. Yep, yeah, it has now stopped. So we're also going to show you how you can set a speed limit. So we can do sprite body set angular velocity limit. And for this, we're just going to put 500. You won't actually see this in effect, but what you can do is you can put a limit, and this will basically come in effect when, for example, if you have objects colliding, sometimes when they collide, they will obviously spin off each other and sometimes they may increase the velocity or the angular velocity and sometimes they may decrease the angular velocity if it increases we can have a limit so it doesn't spin too fast obviously like I said it won't do anything if I were to run it now so I'm not going to run it but that is it for angular velocity in the next part of this series we're going to look at velocity basically moving objects. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.